Let me ask you something. Do you think I invented this long list of crimes that Lisa committed against my wife? I think there's a long list of incidents that are open for interpretation. You have the one piece of evidence that exists, Johnny. You give me the syringe and I'll make it worth your while. You do realize I have all the money I could want. Well, I'm a better doctor than Lisa. Whatever medical services she's providing, I'll improve on it. No questions asked. You can tell yourself that you did the right thing. Why is supporting you automatically the right thing? And why is liking Lisa automatically wrong? Seems like it's all based on perspective, right? Turns out, mine's just different than yours. Uh, excuse me, doctor, a moment of your time? <laughs> okay, sign out and go straight to your hotel room. Now, why would I go all the way to the Metro Court when I have a perfectly good on-call room right here? Okay, just go there. Don't run any errands, don't get any food in the restaurant, and just wait in your room. You won't be sorry. You finished already? Oh, please, my third double shift this week. I am going home to crash. Come on, you can do better than that. I have plans for us. I can't. I have to go pick up the I boys. spoke to Graham. She's letting him spend the night. You and I are headed to Jake's for a couple of drinks for a couple of hours to keep oh. back and relax. Oh, it's just nice having my big brother take care of me. Let's see a picture of margaritas, man of fries. I think I'll chill right yeah. out. Yeah. was the first thing any of us thought when Michael got a prison sentence? 18 years old and in jail with the worst people. I thought Sonny's name would protect him. Jason was in there with him. Well, Jason got there too late. Uh, remember Franco's big art exhibit in L.A.? Yeah, there was a, there was a picture of Michael and another inmate. Carter. He did it. Oh, my Franco's God. Franco's orders. Oh. Franco recorded his meeting with Carter at the Pentonville visiting room. Told that freak to go after Michael. Jason went insane, he ripped up the room. I thought he was, <laughs> he probably would have killed me for seeing the video if he thought he could get away with it. This is horrible. It wasn't said in so many words, but I knew at that moment that Michael had been raped. I tried to talk to him about it. I mean, he was doing pretty good. He was being pretty brave and strong. He was putting his life back together. And it was much easier to convince myself that I was wrong. Yeah, but if Michael doesn't want to talk, you can't force him to talk. But there was one moment, about a week ago, I came in here and he was beating the crap out of the heavy bag and he turned on me like he would kill whoever came up on him. and I talked to him about whatever he wanted to talk about. I tried to talk to him a bunch of times. And he didn't, he didn't want to. <sighs> yeah, I say there was a small part of me that was pretty relieved. Not having to hear those words. Not having to face the truth. That my brother was raped because of me. I do a lot of therapy. It's really hard, but it, it helps. Uh, okay, thanks, Mom. I got it from here. I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. Thanks, Mom. Okay, go. Go. Excuse me. Uh, can you tell me where uh, Dr. Bailey's office is? It's the second floor, room 237. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Jackson in? Uh, you can use the house phone to call Dr. Jackson. I'm not allowed to give out that information. I'm Dr. Niles. It's an emergency. <clears throat> Maybe you can make an exception? If you 
were to guess room 581, that would be a good guess. Thank you. You're such a doll. <clears throat> when Robin Scorpio Drake comes to see her husband, tell her that he's been moved to room 581. Well, oh. Dr. Niles here for another stay at the Metro Court. Yeah, I was thinking about treating myself to some spa treatments, room service. You know, the Metro Court has a lot to offer. But you know that. Put my patients to bed. I'm out of here. Oh, not so fast, Doctor. Uh, Drake Jr. left the case for you to take a look at. Well, a little notice would have been nice. This patient's having surgery at 7 in the morning tomorrow. <laughs> well, Drake Jr. already left. Of course. He expects me to drop everything and show up at his hotel room. Oh, don't look at me. It is not my job. I just pass along the information. Carly's so damn impulsive, you don't know what she's going to do from one second to the next, and it, it could end up destructive. Babe, you know what? I actually don't want to hear any more about Carly, uh, okay? Because the problem with this woman is that she thinks she has the right to run your life, mm -hmm. and she doesn't. And she's so stupid that she thinks if she, you know, puts a stop to our wedding that it's going to somehow put a stop to our marriage. That's not going to happen. Wait, she wants you back. She does not. Yes, she, she did, does. Not yes, she does. Yes, she does. And it's your job to get her to back off. She's not wired that way. She just, for whatever reason, oh, she thinks that she's, you know, helping me. Okay. In well, some way. Well, she's not helping you. And you okay. need to let her know also when you have your little talk with her that it is my job to help you now. I am going to be your wife. She needs to go pay attention to the train wreck that's her own life. Carly's not the problem. Like I said before, what? Uh, listen to me. I'm concerned about the wedding. It, you know, the Balkan could make a move. And, uh, you know. Sonny, look at me. Do you want to cancel? No. I was just going to ask you if you wanted to elope with me. Measures are all functioning fine. The guards are all at their posts. Falcon nowhere in sight. Brenda's dress was delivered in absolute perfect condition. Carly shows up. Doesn't stay very long. You're not here. Brenda's dress gets scissors or a knife or something to it. I think uh, Carly may have done it. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to ask Carly. Do you think she's going to tell you the truth? I mean, she usually does. Really? Carly hates the idea of Brenda and Sonny getting married. I know, cutting a dress seems petty and vindictive, but I'm sorry. <clears throat> Carly is both. Yeah, I, I know she can be both, but she's focused on Michael right now. She doesn't really have time to be running around cutting up somebody's dress. I get it. The evidence points to Carly. I just don't buy it. It's the marriage, and we can do it wherever you want. We can go to Atlantic City, Mexico, hell. I mean, we can even do it in Vegas. Well, maybe not Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> but we can find a, a justice of the peace, right? We could fly to Rio. Can you imagine? We're on the, you know, at the beach, mm -hmm. the sunset. We can say our vows. What do you think? No? Yes. Yes. Is that what you want? No. I mean, what I want is I want to start my life with you, and... I do want you to be safe, but where and how, it doesn't really matter to me. Okay. I think you're right. I mean, it's the... It's the marriage, right? It's not about the wedding day. Yeah. <sighs> oh, babe. What about the kids? What do you mean? Well, what about the little girls, honey? I mean, what about your... You know, they're all excited about the wedding, and I picked out those little dresses for them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I don't want to suddenly exclude them from the from the whole thing, right? Mm -mm. Well, we can we can have a big party when we get back. No, you know what? I, 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 no, no. 
I, I don't like this. I, I don't want to disappoint them. I, let's just do. Let's just have. I mean, we can do that too. But but let's let's have our wedding day at the Archer Pavilion, and you can get every single guard in the country to come, right? And we'll be safe, and and we'll just be able to have our ceremony in front of our family and our friends. Is that what you want? Then that's what you'll get. Really? I love you, Mary. I love you, Mary, too. Look who's here. Oh, this could be dangerous. After a 14-hour date and a couple drinks with me, you never know how inappropriate I might get. Nicholas will complain. Hey. Hi. Is it hey. lonely? Who it is? I insisted Elizabeth come with me. She's been working way too hard. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine working and being a single parent. That must be a lot of work. Yeah, well, I do just fine. Let's get a drink. Sorry, I didn't know that she would be here tonight. No, it's okay. I mean, I hope that you don't regret coming here. It would be sad if it weren't so infuriating watching Nicholas waste himself on her. They seem to have an arrangement that works for the both of them. Yeah, but I'm the one who pushed him into the arms of that gold digger. Everybody needs somebody. Oh, gee, now you tell me. What about you, Hotshot? What do you need? So what happened to Abby? Help Michael admit the truth. He was with Abby when I took her statement. She started talking about the attack and he bolted. Mm. Must have been too much for him. I went back the next day to keep it posted on the case, and he was there again, and we started talking about his statement, and uh, he told me. And for all this time, he just said, I was raped in Pentonville. I'm sorry. Well, don't be. Not for me. Anyway. It's your brother. You love him. Finding something like this out is... I didn't. I didn't, though. I didn't find it out. I knew deep down. I just... It was easier to convince myself that, it, that I was wrong. I wish we could go back and do everything differently. Well, don't you take this on. You were just believing in me. I'm the one who knew the risks. I let my arrogance make me think that it couldn't go down any other way than I expected it to. Then you know what? You, then you've got to make amends. <laughs> You gotta make amends and make amends by being the best cop you can be. Or you can just throw away everything that you are. I know we're broken up, I don't get a say, but I know the man that I fell in love with. And I know what he would choose. Thank you. Love you. Then you know how to prove it. If you don't say it, the word, you think you can convince yourself that it never happened. You need to believe me now that it wasn't your fault. I know that. It wasn't your fault. Gosh, I stopped him! Carter is an animal. And he's dead, rotting in the ground, and you're free to live your life. Franco sent Carter after you to get to me. I tried. I tried to stop him. But he kept hitting me. And hitting me. Until I couldn't fight back anymore. Son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! 